Welcome to yourknifeguy.com. Thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to talk about using a vegetable peeler. The thing I love about this peeler is it's got a really soft rubber grip handle and the steel that this company uses is razor sharp. Very similar to what they use in surgical tools. I found there's two different types of people out there. Like my dad, he doesn't like using a knife to peel stuff. Uh, my mom though, she won't even touch a vegetable peeler. She loves to use a paring knife because that's how she grew up and that's how she was taught. But my dad loves the vegetable peeler. So they have both in their kitchen. The thing I love about a vegetable peeler is that it peels really thinly. See, when I peel stuff with a paring knife, like when I choose a paring knife to peel a potato, my potato always looks like a tater tot when I'm done with it. So with a vegetable peeler, you just get a little bit better control, and if you're not as comfortable with a knife, it's a very easy tool to use. So here's the thing, if, it's, uh, if, if whatever you're peeling is oblong or long and skinny, it's always easier to go away from you. So like with a cucumber, um, you just go away from you. That way you're never worried about um, peeling against your finger or, or cutting yourself. If it's something like a potato, where it's more round than it is long, um, I actually like to peel towards me. So a good peeler will have actually cutting blades on either side, so you can go away from you or you can go towards you. And when you're actually going towards you, it's good to place your thumb against whatever it is that you're peeling to support it as you pull the peeler towards you. And you start with the peeler at the far end and then pull it towards you. A good peeler will also uh, rotate the blade with whatever it is that you're cutting. So that way you don't have to worry about trying to twist or turn the peeler. A great peeler will also be able to peel soft fruits, things like kiwis. I actually love to use my vegetable peeler for a kiwi. When you do this, great. what you want to start with is, is set the peeler up around the stem of the kiwi and then just give it a little back and forth forth motion, um, just like you're using a paring knife. And when you give it that little back and forth motion, it gets it started on the skin and then you can just pull it towards you, just like if you're peeling a round potato or something like that. Some vegetable peelers actually have a nice little point on them right here that you can use to twist the eyes out of potatoes or the bad spots out of apples also. So what you do to use that is you just stick it in around the outside of the eye and then you just twist it. You give it a good twist round and round, and it'll pull that eye right out. So there's an eye right there. You just poke it in around the outside of the eye, twist it, and it pops it right out. One thing I love about my peeler is it peels really, really thin. So that way when I'm peeling my foods, I'm not actually wasting um, any of the meat underneath the skin. So another thing that you can do with a peeler is um, when it's really sharp, you can actually take and take the ends off of your uh, vegetables as well. So rather than having to switch over to a knife to cut the ends off the carrots, instead just use your peeler to do it and it takes it right off. It's also a great way to uh, create things for salads. Like if you want really thin carrot uh, chunks for salads, you can take your vegetable peeler and just do this and you end up with really thin little carrot chips that you can throw into your salad. You can do that with multiple other fruits and vegetables as well. Another great thing you can do with your peeler that you may not have thought of is actually uh, trim uh, broccoli and clean up the stems on broccoli before you cut it. <clears throat> All you do with your broccoli is just grab it by the crown just like this and then just get your peeler right up there towards the top where the florets start and then just uh, nice and easy peel it all the way down. The better you get at it, the faster you can go. And you can see how it trims all those really hard parts off of the uh, broccoli. And now you can actually eat the stems of the broccoli. 